The second nationwide lockdown comes to an end. It's been four weeks when, amongst other things, all but essential shops have been closed. Pubs, restaurants, cafes closed apart from takeaways, all due to the coronavirus pandemic. Myself and Matthew um, took a walk through the city at the end of this second nationwide lockdown. We walked through York and we talked to people about what the lockdown has been like for them, what it's like in the city of York and how they think it will be post lockdown. How have you found the second lockdown in York compared to the first one? I found it, I think, so much harder. You know, like as a student, I kind of felt that like being away from family and everything like that, it was so much harder just tackling it alone. It's, it's boring and it's... <laughs> but we've just got to have you do, been doing much else at all no, apart from coming in? No. no. It's just really quiet. Just keeping ourselves to ourselves. In the car, we're walking. Anywhere, yeah. you know, sort of. Yeah, whether, I think we're, we're mostly legal. <laughs> I've been decorating. <laughs> I did all mine yeah. in the first because I ended up being off for seven months in my job. I work, I'm a, a working leisure centre. Obviously, it's so much more difficult to focus on your studies when you can't get out and see your friends. And I think a work-life balance is so important for students as well. During this uh, lockdown, this second lockdown, what, what have you been doing in the city centre? Walking, walking, buying hot chocolate. Honestly, I kind of miss the nightlife a lot because that was a huge part of first year. Um, things like the SU being open, York St John's very good at kind of having like pound a pint and karaoke and socials and things like that. I also play hockey, so that would be really good to get going again because it's been stopping and starting all season this time. It's getting very frustrating now. <laughs> very frustrating. And it's the fact of not living to see family and things like that. Um, yeah, and I think as human beings, we need to have a hope. We need to be near people. We need that contact and we're just not getting it. And it's, it does get you down a little bit. And we're asking people, how have you found your city centre during the second lockdown compared to the first one? Yeah, it's busier than the first. Yeah, definitely busier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of places open now that weren't. Mm. It's really weird to see such a sort of tourist area so empty. So, like, I walked down the shambles the other day and it was just like apocalyptic because there was like nobody there and it was really weird. And normally I avoid the shambles because like, you can never get through. So it's it's really weird, but kind of allows you to see the beauty of York, I guess. It's just so quiet in town. There's just no buzz around. There's no people around. Can't go out and just get a drink. You know, it's just really just been quiet. How are you finding the city centre in the second lockdown? Um, obviously a lot quieter. Yeah, think of a lot quieter. Lots of people eating, and sort of, there's quite a lot of shops open actually. Yeah. This second lockdown has been, we found more people around than the first lockdown, definitely. And so, you know, it's, it's felt okay really. The second lockdown has been much busier than the first because we live in town and um, we used to go to like Sainsbury's on the corner and I've never once in my life seen York like deathly silent. Um, but this time there's always people around. Mm -hmm. Definitely more people around. The first lockdown was horrendous. We used to come in and sit in Parliament Street and there was just nobody. But this time there has been quite a lot of people around. Have you noticed a difference between weekdays and weekends at all? Weekends, it's so busy, especially like in the food areas and things like that. Just walking around town, it's really, I think people are just trying to get their exercise at home. You mentioned being surprised in this second lockdown at some places being open. What, what places? So yesterday I came in and it was a little bit more busy, but obviously today's Monday and it's empty. The shops open again on Wednesday. How do you envisage the footfall and people of the city changing when the shops open? 
think people are desperate to get out. I think people are desperate to just be relatively normal. I mean, I'll try and basically just use independence online. Uh, and if it is open, because if I do any shopping, if I say went to a shop, if it's open later, that's what I do. So like now, I'll go to M&S because it's open till eight o'clock at night. So. I'm not a natural online shopper I'll, and I feel that it takes the choice away because if you were walking around town you'd think, oh yeah, I'll go and have a look in so and so and have a look in there, whereas I get to look at on, on the screen and I just think I can't stop it, so I don't buy anything. And on Wednesday the shops will be opening and uh, how do you think things will be? How do you envisage it will be on It'll Wednesday be onwards? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be chaos waiting. But we were just talking actually about people spending online, which I've done quite a lot of, but in actual fact we do want to be spending in the shops because all these shops are getting really nicely done, ready for all the customers coming back. So, you know, fingers crossed, the retailers will, uh, will get the money. Now, on Wednesday, the shops will be opening. What do you yeah. think York will look like? Um, in comparison to when the Christmas market's normally on, I'd say empty, <laughs> in contrast, but nowhere near as like, empty as this. I think we got to get some more tourists in, just for days, um, just to try and enjoy the Christmas buzz um, that they're trying to make in, in the city, but I think people are still trying to be really careful. Sage, or, or one of the members on the, the Sage, the, the Government Advisory Board, uh, had suggested people just doing 15 minutes in a shop Maybe maximum 15 minutes browsing. Do you think that's going to happen? Do you think that's practical? No, I don't think they'll be able to really sit at all. Because I remember pushing my way through people last year, kind of like I need to get to the market or get get across town to my lecture and that kind of thing. So I think it'll be busier than this, but not anywhere near back to normal. How have you been finding the second <laughs> lockdown? You're not allowed to sniff as many books, are you?